Park Industries created this video as a tool to assist you in replacing your quantum drive belt. Turn off air pressure to the machine. Get assistance to remove the shroud and set aside. Remove the anti-rotation bracket. Remove the water and air lines. Remove the water and airline fittings. Remove the four bolts that hold the drawbar air cylinder. Remove the air lines from the drawbar air cylinder. As a tip to help aid in reassembly, mark the top air line. Remove the drawbar air cylinder. Remove the drawbar sensor. Loosen, but do not remove the four bolts on the drive motor adjustment plate. Push the motor assembly in. Remove the drive belt. Install the new drive belt, making sure that the belt pattern matches the pattern on the shiv. Pull back on the motor assembly. Install drive belt tensioning tool. Turn tool until it touches the mounting plate. Turn tool 20 more turns. The tool has a clutch mechanism to help prevent over tightening. When tight, there should be about a 1 8 inch deflection in the belt. Make sure the motor mount plate is even with the frame.
Tap with a rubber mallet if necessary. Tighten the four bolts on the drive motor adjustment plate. Reinstall the drawbar sensor. Remount the drawbar air cylinder. Put a drop of blue Loctite on each of the four drawbar air cylinder bolts and start them by hand. Before tightening the four bolts, make sure the water union turns freely. If the water union does not turn freely, adjust the drawbar air cylinder until the water union does turn freely. Tighten the four bolts that hold the drawbar air cylinder. Replace the air lines on the drawbar air cylinder. Install the water fitting. Install the air fitting. Insert the water in air lines. Install the anti-rotation bracket using blue Loctite on each bolt. Turn air on. Orientate the spindle as described in tool rack setup in your operation manual. Park Industries hopes that you have found this tutorial video helpful in replacing your belt on your quantum drive spindle.